Good morning, YouTube. So, here's a quick down and dirty emergency button programming video. I get a lot of questions about this, and it's really, really simple. Um, first and foremost, on our buttons here, we obviously need to select whatever button we want for emergency. I happen to use the big orange emergency button. Um, on radio wide, uh, you have silent alarm, keep alive, all of this other stuff. Don't mess with that. We don't need to fiddle with any of that. It's good right where it's at. So, I don't know about your radio, but mine, I've got uh, MDC and Astro Systems in there. So, we're going to talk about both of those. I've got a personality set up here, one for each. 41 is my digital. It's Astro Receive. So, under our signaling here, there's nothing. MDC tab, it's all locked out. No big deal. Under our Astro options, it's pretty simple stuff. Whatever you want set for yours, that's cool. I like to check all of my decode and encode options, uh, Astro signaling. Make sure you've got your call list setups if you want. That's, you know, all the standard stuff here, okay? So there's that. The second one is MDC. I've got mine set to mix mode. So our signaling type would be MDC. Make sure you set your system number your revert channel. I don't like to have my channel switch when I activate the emergency button. I like to stay on the one I'm at. So I have it set to selected channel. Specifically, this way it doesn't roll to another channel on an emergency activation, which you can set to do. Hopefully somebody's monitoring that other channel for you. Anyway, MDC tab. I've got my select call encode and decode stuff checked. Make sure that you hit that or for your unmute type. Do not select and. No, no. Let's go or. Okay. I did a couple posts about this a long while ago. Go check them out. You'll see. But or is where we want to be. Second thing here for our MDC system, we're going to hit that emergency tab. We're going to check the enable box. I prefer my alarm only. Alarm and call will transmit audio after the emergency activation. So you hit that button, that tone goes off, and then it automatically keys your radio. You know, in the event you're incapacitated or you're fighting with somebody or whatever the case is, I prefer not to have that, but again, that's just me. Acknowledge alert tone. That was checked by default. I haven't bothered to change that. What that is, when you push the emergency button on your radio, it's obviously sending a signal, hey, I'm in emergency mode. It's looking for an acknowledgement from the mothership, your dispatch console, your, your base station, whatever. Those specific types of equipment back at base, back at dispatch, have the ability to acknowledge that emergency tone and send an acknowledgement back. And when that happens, this acknowledge alert tone will sound off on your radio, alerting you, the user, that, hey, somebody got it, we're good. Now, if you're like me and you're just using this simplex to sim, you know, simplex radio to radio here. It, I'm on my first cup of coffee. Calm down. There is no acknowledgement. So there you have it. I just kept it checked just because, you know, that's, that's what we do. Polite and impolite retries. It's going to politely try five times to send this alert tone out and it will impolitely try 15 more times beyond that. After that, it kind of gives up. That's where your multiplier comes in, your TX multiplier and all this other stuff. Not important. Okay, especially if you're just using it radio to radio, simplex traffic, just leave it at that. That's fine. Okay, Astro system, it's basically the same thing. All right, we need to check the emergency box, that alert tone again, your emergency type. You can set your revert zone, like I said, but I prefer to keep my radio on the same channel. That's, that's just me because I'm not using this example with an actual repeated or trunk system. This is just at home radios, personal use only. But everything else is pretty much the same. Emergency Alarm RX Indicator. What that does on our advanced tab for Astro is it will alert the user of radio around you. When you key this up, it alerts them. Their radio sends off a tone to them saying, hey, somebody pushed their emergency button. That's all that is. And then every time that person keys up that has pushed the emergency button, if you set up caller ID, basically, your soft IDs and stuff like that, it will show EA and then the radio ID or the user soft ID or whatever it was, indicating, it, hey, this is an emergency alarm uh, transmission. So there's that. Is this all making sense? I hope so, because that's pretty much it. It's very basic. It's very simple. That's how I've got mine set up. There you go. So if you guys got any questions or comments, let me know, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.